Amatsatis, which actually means satisfy in Latin. And that's exactly what I want to do with my two fashionistas when they come here. We're going to satisfy our urges and our taste buds with the amazing brunch here. I have J squared coming. J squared? Yes. Janelle and Jessica, both my fashionistas, one's from New York City and one's from my hometown right here in Jersey City. So we're going to have our Sex in the City brunch today. I'm all dressed up. I'm sure both of them will look amazing. Satis has great food. I can't wait for them to try it out. They've actually never been here before, but there's the first time for everything. driving a nice Mercedes will impress me. And that was like one of the first things she said. Ouch. Yeah. I went into her apartment and used her restroom really quick and she had like condoms everywhere. And I was like, what the hell? I know. I was like, come on. I'm like an economy size pack? Yeah. She I'm went like, to the yeah. I thought she wanted to get she busy or something. She bought them in there ready to go. <laughs> so tell me about your worst dating experience. You know? Well, I dated a guy for six months and he was a musician and he was amazing and a genius, but he didn't really work out. <laughs> so, but I loved him. <laughs> How did he tell you he was gay? He didn't or... tell me. Oh, you didn't, His didn't... boyfriend did. Oh my god! Uh, what happened? No. <laughs> they just uh, called my best friend and I a week after we got out of school and was like, oh, just to let you know we're gay. <laughs> Never talked to him again. I've had a girl that I dated go with girls after, and I felt like it was something that I did, but I think it's really healthy. Maybe they, they just didn't know who they were yet. Exactly. How about you? Tell me about your worst dating. <laughs> Which one? So, uh, date with a guy, he tricks me up to his apartment. I reluctantly agree to go because I am enjoying his company and I figure, you know, let me keep him in line, go up for one drink, and then I will be on my way. But before he even pours the drink, he starts trying to seduce me by sucking on my toes. And that was it. That's where I drew the line. I grabbed my shoes. I bolted out of the apartment barefoot. <laughs> I ran out onto the street. I did put my shoes on before I descended into the subway. But waiting for the train, I'm kind of nodding off. And I opened my eyes. Less than 10 feet ahead of me, there is um, a homeless man with his pants down. You can you can fill in the gap. Oh my god. These things actually happen. This is that is crazy. So, once again, I grabbed my bag, I bolted out of there, I cabbed it home. Living in Jersey, cabs kind of suck. $65, but worth every penny <laughs> to get home that night. Cheers to that. Cheers. Oh, we need to make a toast. Yes, I make a toast to um, my two bestie fashionistas after um, enjoying Fashion Week with me in New York City. Now that we're in my city, Jersey City, having brunch at my favorite place, thank you for coming out. Thank you. Cheers Absolutely. to that. Salut. You guys look extremely amazing. As, you always do. As do you. Uh, As sweating. always. I'm really thank digging you. your rock and roll cuff rock. Yeah, this is my dirty dark side. What if a man wanted to come to your house and be your dog? You could he sleep on the couch to. all day. <laughs> He'll lick you when you come home on your leg. You can take him for a walk and a leash. Where is he going to Wherever you want. <laughs> Your toes. <laughs> Your toes, exactly. I'm gonna confess something to you. I've actually been at home on my couch strolling dating services. And I'm gonna be going on some dates soon. Wow, go. I know, I know. It's kind of exciting. So I shouldn't try to sleep with him the first night. Oh. No. <laughs>